OU quarterback Caleb Williams replaced Spencer Rattler midway through the second quarter against Texas and was a, was a vital part in OU's comeback against Texas. And before we look at Caleb Williams, because I'm gonna we're gonna dive in some video from him, we're gonna look just kind of talk about what he was able to do and, and why people responded so well to him when he was in. I want to look at two other guys real quick. Kennedy Brooks, 25 carries, 217 yards on the ground, hell of a day, two touchdowns on the ground, uh, 8.7 yards per carry. And then we look at Marvin Mims, five catches, 136 yards, two touchdowns, and has just some huge catches out of this world catches uh, from from when Caleb Williams was in the game, right? So two perfect examples of OU as a whole elevating their game when Caleb Williams is in, him having that impact and that effect on the whole team. You saw the offensive line did a great job as well, giving Williams plenty of time. We're going to see some uh, in some of the film, we're going to see Williams have Caleb Williams, excuse me, having time to go through progressions, which he did very well on. They allowed Caleb Williams to be calm and composed in the pocket. But I think Caleb Williams had a, just that this that kind of the, the tangibles that he has is able to have a calming effect. Everyone's composed, and you saw the whole team around him kind of elevate their game. Even the defense played a lot better in the second half. I know you still get a zillion points, but they still played better. So just he had that great impact and a great effect on others around him. So Caleb Williams, that was my biggest. Uh, biggest takeaway from the game was how others responded to him. I think that's a, that's a great t tell uh, of a leader uh, whenever people respond well to you and they elevate their game and, and they're able to play at their best because that impact you have on them. So that was my biggest takeaway with Caleb Williams. And of course, extremely strong arm, very athletic, uh, has all the physical tools. But whenever, whenever he was in the pocket, it was the small things that impressed me. He went through some progressions, uh, was able to stay calm, right? Even when the first, second read weren't there, he had time, went through them. Yeah, there were some times he missed some throws, he had some risky throws, like uh, missed a touchdown throw in the end zone. There were some learning experiences, some learning things to go off of. But overall, what a hell of a game from Caleb Williams. So we're going to dive down, dive into it just a little bit. I want to look at his first two, not the first two, the first two clips we're going to look at are the big time plays from Mim, from Caleb Williams to Mims. We see his athletic ability, we see his his physical tools, and we see him elevating others around him. And then we, we'll, we'll go back from when he first got put in and go through a few plays as well so we can see how he played throughout the game. But before we do that, I just want to encourage all to consider subscribing to the channel if you like any quarterback related content. Okay. Enough of y'all looking at me until the very end. Let's go on and look at the film of Caleb Williams. And again, just remember, it's his. What what I took away from it was his ability to make others better around him. So here is the first quote unquote big play by Caleb Williams, besides his long run that we talked about. But I wanted to start with this play because I think this is the perfect example of what we talked about as far as elevating others around him, right? Elevating your teammates around you. What's a good sign of a good leader, a good competitor? Everyone elevates their game around him, right? So we know about all the physical tools Caleb Williams has, and he shows it here, right? He's what we're going to see. It's a third and five. This is his long pass uh, down the sideline here that the receiver makes uh, for a big-time catch here, which they eventually lead to a field goal, I believe, on this drive. Anyways, let's go ahead and watch the play. It's third and five. So he shows his athleticism, escaping the pocket, again, calm and composed. And then you see his arm strength. This is 55-ish plus yards. This is a 20-yard line right here minus three or so this is about 55 plus yards this is what the 28 yard lines yeah 55 yards in the air falling away watch this guy make a play make a catch for Caleb Williams but I think it's a perfect example and when guys see when guys are elevate their plays and make plays like this it is it is uh, what's the what's the word um attractive to others and contagious right and you saw play after play, guy after guy making big time plays for Caleb Williams. So again, I want to start with this play because I think it was a good job of Caleb Williams uh, being infectious towards others and elevating everyone around him, uh, making them play better. So I want to show this uh, as the second play we're going to break down. So this is the third and 19 with seven minutes left in the third quarter, about 7.30. This is the game tying touchdown here. Uh, it was 41-33 here. And again, just like the last clip, Perfect example of everyone's play being elevated around Caleb Williams, him having that effect on people, having that contagious uh, kind of just positive um, attitude and, and just that positive playmaking ability. So third 19, we see all Caleb Williams' physical traits here, right? Stays in the pocket, patience, calm, composed, throws from the 44-ish yard line, we'll say. So again, it's right about 55 yards in the air, on the run, downfield, hell of a catch, Great job for a touchdown, but again, elevating everyone around him. It's what Caleb Williams does. They go out and make plays for him. So great job there by Williams. Great catch there as well. Uh, good job up front by the old line as well. Again, everyone's play has been elevated, and then Williams showed all his physical tools, arm strength, movement in the pocket, and then his composure and calmness as well. So about six and a half minutes left in the second quarter, and this is when Caleb Williams officially took over. I know he had that 
that long touchdown run earlier in the game, but that was more of a package situation for him. This is when he took over uh, from here on out. So it's 35-17, six and a half minutes left, uh, second and 10, kind of his first pass play here. Um, we'll see some motion pre-snap here. Get some guys coming out this way, right? And it's it's kind of a riskiest throw. He's hitting 27 right here. Uh, almost intercepted, but able to get there. Uh, still, nonetheless, able to throw it slightly behind him so it's not picked off or not about a down. Then you have plenty of space to get upfield after that. So uh, good completion to get some confidence going. Um, and, and you could tell after this drive and play here, it was kind of all OU's offense uh, with Caleb Williams at the hand. So 38-20 right here. This is the first play of the second half uh, for Caleb Williams. Again, his first drive, he led OU to a field goal. And then this is a good example of his ability as a runner, something all OU fans already know about. Uh, but it's just pure athleticism here. And, and with Williams in that quarterback, he adds a dimension of a running quarterback. Rattler is a good athlete, but he he he's able to create when the defense gives him opportunities. Williams can create opportunities regardless of what the defense gives him, right? So we see, makes one guy miss, boom, here, good spin move there, right? I won't break it down completely like this. Another guy missed two, boom. So good job there by Williams, showing his athleticism on the first play of the second half. So here's a second and nine throw here to the top of top of the screen to the receiver here, and we're going to see a good decisive quick release here, right? Not a lot of space um, of the deep, or right now it's the DB's playing off coverage, but you see the time to throw, uh, not a lot of space between the DB and the receiver, good, tight, accurate throw. Boom, right. Not a lot of space. Good throw to bring the receiver back. Good job by the receiver. Come back to the ball. Picks up the first down. So second and nine, about nine minutes left in the third quarter here. Uh, good job by Williams as OU is driving at this point in the game. So th this touchdown pass by Williams uh, with a minute left in the third quarter, I think is a perfect example of what we were talking about at the beginning of the video, uh, his composure and calmness in a very big situation, just like Casey Thompson had for Texas, uh, very calm and composed the entire time, right? And so we'll see him drop the, snap, drop the, the snap here. Right, he's going to drop the snap, doesn't freak out, picks up the ball, knows what play's still going, able to roll out and throw a perfect pass between Texas defenders here for a touchdown. So again, great example of what we talked about being calm and composed uh, in a big situation. This right here made the score 41 to uh, 30, brought them in with 11 points. This was a third and 11 as well. So good, good job by Williams there staying composed in that situation. So we've got second and six. It's 41-33 Texas, about 10 minutes left at this point in the game. Nothing crazy here, but these are the type of plays you want to see from a from a, a player that makes big-time plays like Caleb, Caleb Williams, right? You want to see him make the easier type plays. So we're going to see second and six. He's able to go through his progressions. Texas has about has six in the box. Slight guy moving in for potential seven because you got two backs here. So we're going to see Texas brings pressure, right? And they have a kind of a delayed blitz here. So you got 5v5. This delayed guy is number six. Williams doesn't freak out. Calm and composed again. Finds his receiver, goes through his progressions. Good ball there for a first down. Again, second and six. Goes through his progressions, calm and composed in the pocket, even with pressure. Good job at Caleb Williams. These are the type of things you like to see from a young quarterback, especially in the fourth quarter as you're trying to sustain a drive. So last clip of watch of Williams. And right here, it's 48-48. And this is a big-time throw on first and 10 with about 30 seconds left. You see him go through his progressions. He's calm again, hits his receiver right about the first down yard mark. And after this play is when they're able to get the next play in. Field goal range, and then the, their their touchdown run to, to seal the deal. Uh, but it's because of this play that they're able to convert the next two plays. If this play doesn't get converted or a sack or something bad happens, you're most likely going to overtime. So first and 10, OU does have two timeouts left here. We're going to see Texas bring four. They drop seven. Again, he's this comp looks normal, looks good. Able to complete the ball there. Mims able to get up field for a first down there. Then after this play, they're able to get a, another, I think a first down, at least get inside field goal range, and that's when they score their touchdown. But this play led to those two plays. Good job by Williams there uh, to go through his progressions and, and do the small things right in, in kind of a big pressure situation. So overall, Caleb Williams was 16-25. 212 yards and two touchdowns in there. Had uh, was it, four carries for 88 yards and a touchdown. And a lot of the yardage came off of that package play before he officially took over. So a great game by Caleb Williams. And again, the ability to make others better. Uh, you don't see that on a box score. You don't see that in stats. Uh, you see that by watching the game and just, just seeing it. And, and, and there were a few of our, our football guys that were there, um, some former NFL and former college guys there, and, and they were able to share with us about the impact that Caleb Williams had on the sidelines as people just kind of rallying around him.
But I wanted from you guys, what do you think about Caleb Williams' performance? Uh, is he going to be the starter moving forward? Again, we just kind of break them down. We have no idea. But let us know in the comments below your overall thoughts on Caleb Williams. And we'll see you next time on the next quarterback-related video.